Okay, cool. We're almost just uh, finishing up here for part two. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some shadows and highlights to this. And so make a new layer on top of this effects, and then we want to clip it to there to that specific. And so we click Control Alt G, and then that'll clip it right here. And we can just call this layer shadows. Shadows. Cool. And then what we want to do is we want to bring out our brush tool, and we want to have our foreground color be black and white, and the opacity right around 30%. And so and you want to make sure your brush is as uh, soft as possible. And so. Uh, remember that the light we set it to coming from the upper left um, before, and so when you have when you make an, uh, when you make a highlight, so let's just say you make a highlight like right here, then you want to make a shadow right behind it, um, and so you want to have the light coming from the upper left as if it's coming down this way, and so we can just continue to just can you continue to just make some shadows, and you can spend as much time on this as you want. And you can do a little, you can do little shadows, or you can do big ones, or you can get really crazy. And this is kind of just to add some effects to the wall to make it seem like it's, uh, to make it seem like it's getting bigger, or smaller, or whatever. <coughs> and so yeah, I mean, you know, you just pretty much get it going, and make sure that the white is always on top. cool you know I mean doesn't look too bad and then and we want to make sure we want to set this to overlay there we go that looks a lot better so make sure you set your shadows and highlights to overlay and then it just is gonna lighten stuff up just right here it's gonna look really good cool just add a little bit more, get some corners going right here. Maybe add one big one right here. Cool, doesn't look too bad. And then that looks good. And then the last thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the foreground color. And then I like the color that we're about to use is 917F29 and then click OK looks pretty good and then select the background color and then we want this one to be D9E065 cool and then we're going to create a new layer oops create a new layer and we're going to call this one colors and then we're going to turn this one into a, cri a clipping layer by doing Control Alt G, cool, and then we're gonna select the blending mode and make this soft light, and then we're gonna do um, filter render clouds, so filter render clouds, right there, and then we're gonna add a mask button to it, and then with the mask button active, we're gonna go filter render clouds again, render clouds. And then you go to the adjustments and levels with the with the mask selected, and then go level uh, image adjustment levels, and we're gonna move this guy up to about 158, right around there. And we're gonna move, and we're gonna keep everything else pretty much where it is, and click OK. And. Um, yeah, you know, it doesn't look too bad. Um, if anything, if you want to do just anything just to fill up a little more time, you can add some more shadows and more colors around here, and you can add more colors. And then another cool little tip is if you want more realistic looking bricks, you can select your mask with the bricks that you made, and then go liquefy, and you can see here, and just kind of like move some, uh, oops, a little too, not too much. Brush size, brush density. You can kind of just move some stuff around right here. And kind of just get a cool looking, uh, cool looking effect. And you can take your bolt, uh, you can take your squeeze tool, you know, and squeeze them down. Or you can take your bulge tool and just like bold some spots. Just get some, just get some cool effects right there. And so it's not also uniform. And you can see here, it's just going up and down, and it'll flow right, a, flow right along. So yeah, so. 
this is pretty much this is one of my favorite tutorials I hope you guys had fun with it and um, you just merge all these layers and if you really wanted to you could just come up here and make your contrast just a little bit more and you know it looks alright and so this is just a cool little uh, tutorial and um, go have fun with this and yeah go check out my blog at scarchclothing.blogspot.com cool thanks for watching bye